hello everyone welcome back to another 3d text animation tutorial so in this video i'm going to show you how to make this type of 3d glowing text animation in adobe after effects to make this video i'm going to use adobe after effects and element 3d plugin so before starting this tutorial if you are new to my channel then please make sure to subscribe it so now you can see that i have already created this animation and currently i'm in adobe after effects so now let's get start first i'm going to close this project and now let's import this stock photos obviously you can download all of them from the link in the description so now let's create a new composition i'm going to create main and 20 second duration 1920 pixel by 1080 and 30 frame rate per second then just hit ok now let's create a new solid and i'm going to rename it to element and then let's create a new text and i'm going to type element 3d let's align it to the center now i can close this text from here and select this element solid from here then go to effect control or go to effect then select the decoupler then from here select this element and now go to customize layer and select custom text and mask from here select our element 3d text from here now we need to choose a custom map texture so for this we are going to use this two texture so just select them and drag them to the timeline and let's close all of them now you can select element 3d go to effect and presets select custom texture maps and for layer one select the blue one and for the layer two select the red one now just close it now from here select scene setup so we're in lm 3d interface now we just need to click on this extrude button so our text is here now select this then go to path resolution and make it to extreme now let's change something on this element 3d text here so i'm going to select this and go to here change this bevel copy to 2 and click here select bevel 1 and make it size to 0 0.50 and bevel 2 make it size 0 0.20 and for this bevel 2 change go to here bevel outline and change bevel outline width to something like this 1.35 now go to presets and then go to materials then select physics from here select this black one and drag this to level 2 and select this gold preset and drag this to level 1 so you can see something like this now click here and turn off the grid okay now select this and rename it to logo bottom now you can click on this extrude and let's drag this to something like this point go to perspective and select top view zoom it and let's adjust it something like this before that select this and click here and make it to 0.85 now again make it perspective select this rename and make it logo body now select this logo bottom click right click on your mouse select duplicate model and drag this to something like this point top view and let's adjust it now you can click on extrude drag this to this point and click the bevel one and make it 1.20 go to top view again okay it's good now select perspective and also rename it to logo body 2 then hit ok now select this click here go to path resolution make it extreme and make all of them to extreme so now select this logo bottom and double click rename it to logo middle then again duplicate it 
drag this to here go to top view and make it something like this okay now select this one and rename it to logo top hit okay now select logo top and select this gold one click here maybe outline and enable this so you will find something like this now now close this now select this logo body click here then click on this texture and select diffuse click here load texture and change it to red and change brightness to 100 percent hit ok now select this logo body to select bevel one again go to texture click to diffuse and change it to custom layer one or texture blue then again make it brightness to 100 percent then click ok now you can see that we got our texture to this now you need to do some change on it so select this go to uv mapping and change its to 2 and also this option to 2 make it 10 and then select logo 2 and make it 5 so you'll get something like this now select this then go to something like this point advance and change blending mode to screen also change this logo to blending mid to screen now from here select 360 light and go to environment select basics and select this basic to k light from here now close all of them create click and create a new plane from here select this rotate it something like this then change its size to 20 also this 20 or you can make it to 10 i think 10 is good for this now select this plane model then again go to materials then go to physics from here select this glass apply it to this plane model then select this plane model right click on your mouse go to reflection mode and select it to mirror surface now select this go to advance sorry select the glass and then go to advance and turn on this matte shadow and matte reflection from here now go to reflectivity and change this intensity to 15 or maybe 25 let's keep it 20 now from here just click on this ok so our 3d text is here now let's create a new camera and i'm going to create 30 millimeter camera and uncheck this lock to zoom then hit ok now it's time to animate our 3d text here so select this drag this to something like this and zoom it select this click here go to transform and let's rotate it something like this let's drag it to this point now click here go to around 5 second and press ctrl shift d to cut this camera here and then go to around 10 second again press ctrl shift d and cut it here then go to around 15 second and also cut it here now back to this first one let's animate it select the camera one press p and shift a create a keyframe to both of them go to last of this camera close all of this
now let's move it to something like this point and drag it to like this a little bit now i can close it turn on this camera too go to here now move this to this point let's drag it something like this i'm showing you the way how to make this animation but i hope you can make better animation using this method now select this camera to press p and shift a then create another keyframe to both of them then go to last of this camera to and then i hope move this camera something like this and drag this to this point then again press p and shift a create keyframe both of them then go to last of this camera three frames then move this camera to something like this point make it a little bit smaller okay now close this select the last camera i mean camera 4 go to here and then let's zoom out it okay go last of this frame something like this and then create a keyframe to point of interest and position back to this point and then drag this to something like this okay now our camera rotation is ready now close this and turn on all of this camera now go to first camera then select this first camera and click here close this go to camera option and turn on depth of field this is most important if you miss these steps then your animation don't look realistic so must use this camera depth of field turn it on then change aperture level to 10 and focus distance make it 220 or maybe 25 and change blur level to 200 just follow my steps i just showing you the process how to make this but you definitely make better animation okay this is looking good for this now go to camera 2 and let's apply depth of field here also now close this go to last camera go to this point and uh, also turn on this depth of field from here 200 and this is 10 focus aperture and focus distance i hope 200 yes it's good maybe 250 
and for this one let's create a keyframe here to this focus distance create a keyframe go to around this point make it to 150 800 then go to this point then turn on this depth of field create a keyframe go to here and turn on depth of field to this position now let's select this element and press ctrl d to duplicate it select this then go to before that select this go to render setting and from here select mbn operation enable it and make it 5 now go to lighting from here select it 360 light yes it's looking good now now select this press ctrl d now select this element then go to output change show to composite to illumination okay now select this then go to effect and presets and search for glow apply it here and change it to 40 also change this mode to screen from here since glow radiation to 200 make it 10 so our animation is almost complete yes and now let's see the preview so hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then make sure to subscribe this channel and like this video don't forget to share this video with your friends and thank you so much for watching i'll be back with new tutorials soon till then take care and must comment what you want in my next tutorial goodbye